Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Being brave or showing courage doesn't mean you're not afraid. Often we think of bravery or courage as equal to fearlessness, but they're not. Bravery, as defined by Webster, is the quality or state of having or showing mental or moral strength to face danger, fear, or difficulty. It's being afraid, but doing it anyway, whether that's standing up for something you know is right, or taking a step of faith, or sharing the gospel. Three men in our story yesterday stood out to me as brave, so I decided to find out more about them. Let me read you the verse in Jeremiah 36, where we find them standing up to King Jehoiakim. As the king's servant, Jehudi, read the scroll Jeremiah had sent, King Jehoiakim cut it up with a pin knife and threw it into the fire. The king and his servants didn't at all seem afraid of God, who had sent him a warning, but three of his princes were. Elnathan, Delaliah, and Gemariah made intercession to the king that he would not burn the scroll. They begged him not to. Those three men watched in horror as the king did it anyway. So why do I think they were so brave? Well, in chapter 26, when Uriah, a prophet, had agreed with Jeremiah's prophecies, King Jehoiakim had sent men to Egypt to bring him back. One of these men, el had been involved in that. Then the king had Uriah murdered. So people knew not to cross this king. It wasn't safe. In standing up to the king, el Deliah, and Gemariah risked their lives. The king could have easily executed them, just as he had Uriah. What do we know about these three men? A little earlier in chapter 36, the princes, including these three who later stood up to the king, previewed the scroll. They made the decision that King Jehoiakim needed to hear what it contained. Other prophecies Jeremiah had made had already come true. King Nebuchadnezzar had already come and taken some of the people into exile. So you would think that King Jehoiakim would be ready to listen to any further messages that Jeremiah had from the Lord. The princes sure were, but they knew Jehoiakim had hardened his heart and closed his ears to God's warning. They knew when he heard the contents of the scroll, he would be angry enough to kill. That's why they'd already told Jeremiah and his scribe Baruch to hide. They knew the king needed to hear it but they also knew it would not be well received. Yet they still begged him not to destroy it. So it sounds like their fear of God was stronger than their fear of the king. For a Christian, that's bravery. It's not being fearless. It's having a stronger fear of God than their fear of circumstances or people who seem to have power. They know God is all-powerful and in control. This makes me think of people in communist nations who are threatened with prison, or worse, if they tell someone about Jesus, attend a Christian meeting, or even own a Bible. Yet, they do it anyway. They speak boldly, meet secretly, and study their Bible like it's the greatest treasure on earth. Or people in Muslim-controlled countries whose own families would kill them if they chose to become Christians. Yet they do. Why? Because their fear of God, their love of the Lord who gave all for them, their desire for others to know what he has done, overrides their fear. These three men, Elnathan, Deliah, and Gemariah, had been part of Jehoiakim's corrupt government. But at some point, they realized that God was really the one in control, and they wanted to be on his side, not King Jehoiakim's, no matter what the cost. When have you had to stand up for what's right? What all went into your making that decision? What might you need bravery for today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Mm-hmm.